welcome to the 10th lecture of this course. Today we will see how to convert a deterministic finite automata to a regular expression. So, last time at the end of the last lecture, we introduced uh, what a generalized non-deterministic finite automaton is. So, let me uh, give a brief recap of what it was. So, a generalized non-deterministic finite automata or GNFA in short is an NFA with the an NFA with the transitions being labeled by regular expressions. Okay. So, we saw informally what it means for an NFA to accept a string, but let us look at a formal definition of when we say that a string is accepted by an NFA. So, let W be a string. So, a GNFA is said to accept a string W if W can be written as W equals W 1, W 2 up to some W k. So, W can be written as a concatenation of k strings and there exist states q 0, q 1 up to q k in the GNFA such that firstly Q 0 is the start state Q k is an accept state and finally, for all i, if r i is the label on the transition q i minus 1 to q i, then w i belongs to L of r i. Okay. For example, if I have uh, from q 0 to q 1, if I have a label, uh, if I have the label as the regular expression r 1, then w 1 must belong to L of r 1. Then from q 1 to q 2, if I have a re regular expression r 2, then w 2 must belong to L of r 2 and so on. Okay. So, basically I can partition a string into k parts such that each part is, rep is accepted or each part belongs to the language of the corresponding regular expression. So, if that happens, we say that the GNFA accepts the string W. Okay. So, 
without any loss of generality, we can assume that a GNFA has the following properties. Okay. So, so, without loss of generality, we may assume the following. Okay. So, firstly we may assume that the GNFA has a unique accept state, because if not if there are multiple accept state. I can always add epsilon transition from the old accept state to a new accept state. Okay. Secondly, uh, there are no incoming transitions to the start state and no outgoing transitions from the accept state. Okay. Again, why can we assume this? Suppose this is not true. Suppose uh, there are some incoming transitions to the start state of my GNFA. What I can do is that I can add a new start state. Okay, let's call it Q0 prime. And what I will do is that from Q0 prime, I will add a epsilon transition to my old start state. Let's say Q0. Okay, so that will ensure that there are no incoming transitions to Q0 prime and the new GNFA accepts the same language as the old GNFA. And the same thing I can do with the accept state as well, okay. similar thing. The third assumption is that there are transitions from start state to every other state and from every state to the accept state of my GNFA. Okay. So, here we make use of the fact that I can put uh, the label phi on a transition. So, suppose from uh, the start state there is no transition to some state, some state let us say Q. What I can do is that I can put a transition from the start state to Q and I can label it as phi, which means that I cannot take that transition uh, basically to, uh, to construct a string. Okay. So, and the same thing I can do from every state to the accept state. And the final point is what I will assume is that there is a transition between every pair of states that are not the start or accept 
accept state. Okay. So basically, take any two states the uh, in your GNFA that are not the start or accept state. We will assume that there is a transition between them. Once again, if there is no transition, I will just put a transition with the label phi on it. Okay. So that is the idea. So basically, this is uh, a way to take a arbitrary GNFA and convert a GNFA to uh, a GNFA which has the following list of properties. Okay. So now I think we are in a position to describe uh, how to convert a DFA to a regular expression. Okay. And uh, the way we will convert is in a constructive manner. We will actually give an algorithm which takes a DFA as input and it produces a regular expression. Okay. So, before I describe the algorithm in a formal way, I will actually uh, motivate the algorithm by giving an example. In fact, we will do both parallelly. So, we will solve the example as well as we will uh, write the algorithm uh, side by side. Okay. So, we will form the algorithm uh, simultaneously. Okay. So, let us start by looking at a DFA. So, let us say we have a DFA which has three states. So, we have a start state, I will call it Q 1. My start state is also my accept state. From Q 1, I go to Q 2 on both A and B. Okay. From Q 2, I go to Q 3 on a B and I stay at Q 2 on a A. From Q 3, I go to Q 1 on a A and I go to Q 2 on a B. Okay. And let us assume that this uh, DFA has, so this is a DFA and this DFA has two accept states, uh, Q 1 and Q 3. Okay. So, the first step of the algorithm is to convert the DFA to a GNFA in the appropriate form. Okay. So, we will convert this DFA into a GNFA in the form that I described earlier. So, what do we do? So, first I add a start state, I will call it Q start. I add a global accept state, I will call it Q A and I have my Q 1, Q 2 and Q 3 that is present. So, let me draw the transitions for between Q 1, Q 2 and Q 3. Okay. So, this is what was given to us. Now, we need to complete the GNFA. So, from the start state, I draw a epsilon transition to the start state of my DFA. And to every other state, I will put a transition with the label phi. So, from Q s to Q a, I have a transition labeled phi. From Q s to Q 2, I have a transition labeled phi. From Q s to Q 3, I have a transition labeled phi. Similarly, I have a transition from the accept states of the DFA to Q a. So, from Q 1, I have a transition 
to QA with label epsilon. From Q3, I have a transition to QA labeled epsilon. And uh, from Q2, I have a transition to QA with the label phi, because Q2 was not an accept state. Okay. So, I have these transitions. Now, there are also transitions uh, between these states. Okay, so, I am just uh, due to space constraint, I am not uh, putting in all the transitions that are there, but uh, uh, so, this is has a label B. So, I am not putting in all the transitions. So, wherever we have a missing transition, that basically corresponds to a transition with a label phi on it. Okay, so, I am just ignoring it for the time. So, the idea of the algorithm is to remove each internal state of this GNFA, one state at a time. Okay. So, the internal states are the states which are not the start state and the accept state. So, I will keep the start state and the accept state as they are, but for the other states, so the other states in this GNFA are Q1, Q2 and Q3. In each iteration of my algorithm, I will remove one state uh, from this GNFA and construct another GNFA which has the property that whatever language is accepted by this entire GNFA is the same language that is accepted by my new GNFA. And which state I remove uh, in a particular iteration is not important. I can remove any state. Okay. For example, I can choose to remove Q1, then Q2, then Q3 or whatever order you want. It, it does not uh, change the answer. And then finally, when I have removed all the internal states, that is when I have removed all Q1, Q2 and Q3, whatever is the transition that is going from QS to QA, I look at the label on that transition. Whatever is the regular expression labeling that transition is the regular expression that corresponds to uh, my input DFA. Okay. So, that is the regular expression that I want to construct. So, that is the entire process. So, let us do this. So, the important point is that how do we remove a, a particular transition. Okay. So, let us say that uh, or how do we remove a state. So, removing a state. Okay. So, let us say that I have a state some may be q 1 or let me call it q a. I have another state q b okay. and I want to remove a state q let me call it rem that I want to remove such that there is a there is some transition from q a to q rem. Okay. There is some transition from q rem to q b. So, this has a regular expression R 1 on it, this has a regular expression R 3 on it, maybe there is a transition from Q rem to Q rem itself with R 2 on it and maybe there is a transition from Q A to Q B with that uh, label R on it. Okay. So, suppose if I want to remove a state Q rem, I want to answer what will be the new label on this transition from Q A to Q B. If I remove this, what will be the new label? So, the idea is that if I remove this, then in the next step, I have Q A, I have Q B, I have a transition from Q A to Q B and this transition will have the label R plus R 1 which is from Q A to Q rem R 2 star that is the label on the self loop on Q rem concatenated with R 3 that is the label on Q rem to Q B. So, this is the entire algorithm. So, this allows us to remove the state Q rem and I do this for each thing. Okay. So, now let us try to see. So, in fact, uh, let me do it here that will be closer. So, 
So removing, let us say I want to remove the state q 1, okay. what will be the transitions? So, first I have q s and then I have let us say q 2. So, what will be the new label on q s to q 2? Let us look at this, uh, this GNFA. So, if I remove q 1, the new label on q 2 will be the old label on q s to q 2 that is phi plus the label epsilon concatenated with the self loop on q 1 star concatenated with the label from q 1 to q 2. Okay. So, what is the self loop on q 1? There is no self loop on q 1 and as I said if there is no h then it means it is phi. We have seen earlier that phi star is nothing but 1. Okay. So, basically the label from q s to q 1 if I just write it down here will be phi plus q s to q 1 is epsilon concatenated with phi star this is the label on the self loop on q 1 concatenated with the label from q 1 to q 2. So, the label from q 1 to q 2 is nothing but basically a plus b. Okay. So, the label from q s to q 2 is if I just simplify this, this is nothing but a plus b. So, epsilon dot epsilon dot a plus b. Similarly, from q s to q 3, I have phi plus epsilon dot phi star which is epsilon dot phi, because I have no edge going from q 1 to q 3. It means that uh, it is, so in this case it will be phi plus epsilon dot phi star dot phi and uh, phi dot anything is just phi. So, the label from q s to q 3 is basically phi. What about q s to q accept? erase this. So, let me put u accept over here. So, q s to q accept will have a label. Uh, so, I have phi. So, I have phi over here plus q s to q 1 is epsilon. So, I have epsilon dot uh, phi star dot epsilon. So, from q 1 to q a I have a label epsilon. So, it will be epsilon. So, what does this simplify to? So, this simplifies to just epsilon. Okay. So, this gives me the transitions from q s to these three states. Now, let us look at these states. Let us look at uh, q 2. From q 2 to itself I have to put an edge. So, from q 2 to q from q 2 to itself already I have a. So, I will have a plus something. What is that something? So, q 2 to q 1, but I do not have anything from q 2 to q 1. So, it is phi and phi dot anything will anyway be phi. So, it is a plus phi which means that I have only a. Now, q 2 to q 3 what will I have? So, from q 2 to q 3 earlier I had b. So, let me work out over here. So, I have b from earlier. Now, q 2 to q 1 is phi. So, I do not have anything. So, anyway I get phi. So, this will just be b. And finally, from q 2 to q a, I have phi from earlier. So, I have phi from q 2 to q 1 I do not have anything. So, it is phi. So, it is just phi plus phi dot whatever phi dot phi star dot q 1 to q a is epsilon, but this is nothing but phi. So, here also I have 
phi okay. So, q 2 is done now the only state remaining is q 3. So, q 3 to q 2 I have to check. So, what do I what will be the label on q 3 to q 2? So, the old label from q 3 to q 2 is b. So, I have b. Now, how can I go from q 3 to q 2 via a uh, via q 1. So, here I have a so, b plus a dot there is nothing on q 1. So, it is phi star dot q 1 to q 2 I have a plus b right. Yeah, q 1 to q 2 I have um, yeah. A plus B. So, this gives me B plus A dot A plus B. Okay. So, I have B plus A dot A plus B. So, this is Q 3 to Q 2. Now, on Q 3 itself, uh, I did not have any self loop earlier and uh, if I try to work out what I will get here. So, earlier I had only phi. So, it will be phi plus q 3 to q 1 I had a, a dot q 1 there is no self loop. So, phi star and from q 1 to q 3 again there was nothing. So, phi. So, this is equal to phi. So, I will have just phi over here and finally, from q 3 to q a we will have epsilon plus a dot phi star dot epsilon. So, earlier I had epsilon, now I will have epsilon plus a dot phi star dot epsilon, this is nothing but epsilon plus a. So, the new label will be epsilon plus a. So, this is a bit it can get a bit complicated, but uh, once we actually start shortening it, it gets slightly easier. Now, let us remove the next state, let us remove q 2. So, removing the state q 2. So, if I remove q 2, what I will get is we have q s and then let us say we have q 3 and we have q accept. So, from q s to q accept I will get epsilon plus a plus b dot a star dot phi which is the same as saying it is uh, epsilon plus phi. Okay. Which is the same as saying just epsilon. From q s to q 3 I will have uh, phi plus a plus b dot a star dot b. Okay. So, q s to q 2 to q 3. So, this is done. Now, from q 3 what would be the label on its self loop? So, it will be phi plus uh, q 3 to q 2 is b plus a dot a plus b whole concatenated with a star concatenated with b right. So, here I go from q 3 to q 2 which is b plus a a plus b then uh, self loop on q 2 is a star 
and then I come back from Q2 to Q3 which is just B. And uh, from Q3 to QA what we will get is epsilon plus A. Okay, so, if I just let me just work it out first. So, we will have epsilon plus A plus Q3 to Q2 is this the self loop on Q2 is A star dot phi which will just give me phi. So, it will just be epsilon plus A. and that is it. So, this is the next automaton and finally, I have to remove the last state which is Q 3. So, what we get is, so I have Q s and I have Q a. So, the expression will be epsilon plus uh, this which is nothing but a plus b a star b okay, concatenated with this whole star. So, b plus a dot A plus B whole star okay, concatenated with epsilon plus A. So, concatenated with epsilon plus A okay. and if you want you can put this also in a bracket just to emphasize that. So, first we have this, then we have this star and then we have epsilon plus a and this is basically the answer. So, this is the regular expression corresponding to our initial DFA okay. and this is the algorithm. So, it is a iterative process where in each step you remove one state and uh, by removing the state you construct a new GNFA which has new set of labels on its transitions until and unless you get rid of all the internal states except for QS and QA whatever label the edge from Q s to Q a has is your final expression. Okay. Thank you.